Hello everybody, you are welcome in my tutorial and I am going to explain how to use Filmora Go in your iOS device. This is also available in Android platform and to use in mobile. So this is the overview and here is the store. You can find many multiple items to use like stickers, filters in this. There are many social media 3D icon. So if you purchase Filmora Go Pro, you, you will not be facing like watermark effects problem. So there are many, many packs, lots of pack you can go through in this like uh, app of the Filmora Go. There are many message bubbles like this. You can easily add them, just drag and drop and that's it. It's complete. And there are some cool filter cyberpunk look that is going just awesome. So you can try any one of these filter like black and white. Some people love retro. So you can also choose this one and after that we will be going to some templates you can easily find if you are short of time like you are just uh, hurry for doing something you can use them and just create your own project like in a beautiful manner so i'm going to uh, just create a new project just select my video which i created through my device so if some people love to just post their video on instagram so you can use this software to just post like you know, on your instagram you can just crop move your video and just drag and create a ratio on the instagram it is shown below you can use any of the ratio to just post on the instagram so four is to five is the better option so there are multiple of setting brightness contrast if you are in hurry just uh, like tap 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 and go this is a very useful editor and uh, like on your fingertips i can say that so now i am back in my timeline and i just need to trim my video so i can perfectly edit i just trimmed here just you need to click on trim and it will do so after that you can easily add music text sticker filter and pip and uh, i will show that later also so here you can enter your text easily like um, i will entering i don't need text in this video so here are some presets that you can use on in your video so this is social media 3d icons so these are very popular in instagram reels nowadays so i'm just using that i'm dragging there and just make sure that the effect is looking perfect so now my video is looking perfect and effect is blending very much and uh, i like this so now just heading toward adding some more asset like uh, you can color grade i am just entering into the cyberpunk look that everyone wants like you can apply any of these filter and just find out uh, that which filter looks you best so for your best like here i can just apply to all and this will simply just apply on my all video now i am going to tell you how can you use pip mode in this filmora go this is simply just you have to click on that button and just add any video you want to just create as an overlay on the image you have many multiple options like you have to cut delete blend or just modify that overlay you used on that video so now here i am using a jellyfish by cine glow fx so this is very beautiful and i just use in my reel also so these are just completely awesome for just creating content and like uh, i have used here screen mode in the blend to just create that glowing jellyfish so just now i have completed my video with just a cine glow touch like of jellyfish on my video so this is very beautiful and you can also create some effect so now i'm using 3d social media icon for the subscribe button to place in my video so people can subscribe my youtube channel so the here is the preset you have to just drag and drop and it's done you have to know 
not do any after effects or learn some software to just create that this is very useful and uh, very fast like uh, i can say this is very 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 effective for my videos so last but not least you have to export your video for the instagram or other social media like facebook or tiktok you have to just post there so tiktok is banned in india so i can't post there so i will be using instagram you can export here up to 720p in not pro version 1080p will be available in only pro version so make sure that you have purchased the pro version for 1080p exporting for the good quality so after here when some exporting of my video will be finished i will be posting on my instagram story to just make sure that you can easily post on your instagram so here uh, i finished with the processing of my video it is very pretty quick and fast in comparison of other editors so subscribe the channel and like the video please support and comment down below any queries and any question about this editor i will be just taking a view on my comments and just reply all the comments and tell you the proper solution and thank you guys and have a nice day